All right, so I told you how we were going to get started with how to become a dev influencer. And the last three episodes, I've kind of talked about some of the why behind becoming a dev influencer. And I kind of want to do something a little bit different here before I get into the, you know, the nuts and bolts of how to build influence and how to build a podcast and, and all those things. And and it it's a little bit more of the why, and it goes back to kind of where the long-term things, right? But I did this exercise, and I'm part of this men's group where we um, we talk every week. So it's kind of a mastermind, very much like a mastermind, except it's uh, a lot of times mastermind, when you think about it, it's kind of a business thing. And we talk about life, business, personal, all kinds of stuff, right? Um, and uh, it's it's got kind of a Christian bent and a business bent to it. Um, but we did this for um, kind of how you will show up in 2023, right? So it's a three-year vision. And I'm not going to give you my answers. I may explain a little bit of my answers, but I want to give you some of the questions that were asked just to give you an idea of what that three-year vision looks like. So th what, what I'm really driving at is, is this is going to give you kind of that long-term vision so you can get an idea of how this podcast or how this influencer uh, journey is going to help you because um, you need to be thinking about, okay, who is my audience? Who am I going to serve? How is it going to help me advance? How is this going to help me grow? How is this going to help me get to this, the place that I'm going to get to in three years? And so when I think about where I'm going to end up in three years, this this vision that you outline here as I work through this, right? Um, how is this influencer journey going to get me to this place, right? So the first one is personal, right? And the question, I'm just going to read this, okay? It's, when it comes to my personal development, health, and mental well-being, how do I want to transform? What ineffective habits will I be rid of? What new effective habits will I be reaping the benefits from? What will I have learned? What wellness goal will I have accomplished? What achievements will I be celebrating? Let's get started. And so, you know, then it's on December 20, 31st, 2023, I will, right? And so then I, I filled in some stuff here, right? So I put some things in about um, Iron Man. I'm going to, I'm training for an Iron Man, folks. Crazy stuff, right? Uh, training for an Iron Man, right? Um, I want to learn my third and fourth languages. I am currently fluent in English and Italian. Um, so I want to learn a third language and a fourth language. Man, I, can, I need to get my budding gear on that because the third language I chose is Japanese. A um, little different from English and um, Italian. But yeah, right. So um, personally, there there's some other things in here. But, uh, you know, anyway, kind of interesting stuff there. But, you know, so what? how personally is this influencer journey going to help you grow, right? What other personal goals do you have, right? Because those aren't influencer things, right? The Iron Man thing, the um, learn Japanese thing, you know, those, those aren't influencer things. Those are just personal things, right? Um, the Japanese thing, something that I've always wanted to do. My dad spoke Japanese fluently. Um, you know, we lost him a couple of years ago, but it's still something that I've always wanted to do. And, um, you know, but I have, I've learned Japanese and traveled to Japan, right? So that's something that I want to do, you know, within the next three years. So, Anyway, um, so that's something on there. Uh, the next area is spiritual, right? And again, you know, some of this is going to be enabled by uh, what I'm going to gain from this influencer journey, but some of this is going to be a direct result of it, right? You know, so some of it's just going to come out of the fact that, hey, I've been successful and therefore I can afford to or have the time freedom to do some of this stuff, right? But spiritual, having a solid foundation and understanding of the lens through which I view the world directly influences how I approach my relationships, my work, my and business, my finances, and others around me, affirming what I believe, developing meditation habits, and being intentional about how I will love and serve others will set me on a path to spiritual fulfillment. Okay. So for me, I'm religious. I, you know, I'm a practicing member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, right? So that colored a lot of what I put in here. Other people, their spiritual practices are a lot less defined by a uh, traditional religion or religious practice, whatever you put in here, you know, I'm, I'm not going to dictate that. But at the same time, I mean, you know, my desire to serve people, my desire to en enable people to become the best kinds of people they can be, 
a lot of that really does show up here, right? Uh, some of the principles that I adhere to as a person that I'm not going to compromise on, those show up in here, right? And so this does actually affect my influencer journey, right? And so there are some things in here that that speak directly to that and some other things that are, again, deeply personal that may or may not directly correlate to this, but are kind of core to who I am and will show through in certain ways, right? So anyway, uh, relational. Um, I was made to be in a community and enjoy rich dynamics of healthy relationships with my wife, children, parents, siblings, and my friends, right? So you know, I talked a little bit in the last episode about, you know, the relationship that you have with your audience and the kinds of difference that you can make there, right? And I think as the world kind of opens up, we're recording this as we kind of come out of the tail end of the COVID-19 stuff, right? Um, we're going to see a bit more of that kind of stuff coming together. And so, right what kinds of relationships do you want to have with your audience? What kinds of relationships do you want to build with them, right? And how does this enable relationships with your significant other, with your kids, with your parents, with your siblings, with uh, people in your community, with people in your neighborhood? Pe you know, you, you get the idea. But, you know, relationally, how does this open things up? And it's interesting, too, because I think this was my longest one. Um, professionally, right? The work I do is not my identity, but it plays a large role in my ability to influence others, create impact, and make a difference, right? A whole bunch in here, right? And I have stuff in here for devchat.tv, and I think Dev Influencers is right in there, right? But I also have Podcast Playbook in here. And so I'm trying to figure out how that kind of fits because Dev Influencers is kind of a blend between the two, right? Because Podcast Playbook was originally going to be the podcast course, and Dev Influencers has kind of become that. And so I may open up Podcast Playbook as kind of a more generic or more general view on, I don't know, I'm, I'm still figuring that out. But I still got, you know, two, two and two thirds years to figure that out. And so I think I'm going to see where uh, Dev Influencers goes over the next while. And then I may turn, you know, podcast playbook into some of that. And then financial, right? And this was probably my shortest one, but having the resources to accomplish my mission is critical stewardship principle. I need to be specific and intentional about my compensation, savings, and investment goals. And so, you know, I've got things in here about, you know, investment, you know, what I'm paying for, uh, paying for kids, uh, buying a red Mustang, you know, all the important stuff. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I've got in here. But as I kind of sit and envision this, and I do this on a regular basis, I just sit down and I just envision, okay, this is what I'm working for. This is what I'm trying to get to. And this is what dev influencers is, is going to help me with, you know, and not just on the, you know, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, you know, people paying me for it, but literally helping me become the kind of person I want to be and making the kind of difference I want to make. So I want you to really think about what, what this is going to do for you on that level. What, what do you want to accomplish? What is this going to help you become? What is this going to help you achieve? What is this going to open doors for you to do, right? And then, and then we can talk about, okay, then who's the audience for it and, and things like that, right? So anyway, um, that's that's all I have for you here. But uh, yeah, what's your three-year vision? And and from there, then, who's your audience? Um, what kind of a difference are you going to make for them? What problem are you going to solve for them? And let's get to work. All right, max out, everybody.